Okay, hello everyone. Welcome to the Blazar project update. My name is Pierre Rito. I'm the PTL of Blazar for the uh, Stein cycle. And uh, there will also be uh, other speakers. We have Masaito Moroi, uh, who um, was the PTL since the Okata cycle. And uh, Tetsuro Nakamura and Bertrand Souville were both uh, involved in the project. Uh, so first, uh, Masaito will uh, present the Blazar project. Thanks, Pierre. So I'm Masahito Moroi. I'm running the. I was running the PTL for Blazor project from Okata to Rocky. So first of all, I want to introduce what is Blazor project. So Blazor project is a reservation as a service in OpenStack community. Blazor project is created in 2013 years under the name Climate but it was inactive between the Kilo or Rivati to the Pike cycle. But we revived this project at the Barcelona Summit in 2016. And we became the official project since last year, September. From It's actually the Queen's release cycles. And the, the Blazor project now supports reservation of computer resources Currently, two types, whole host reservation or instance reservation in your crowd. And this guarantees resource availability for a future event as you want. And the specific or the known, well known use case for the Blazor project is that there is two use cases. First one is telecom NFB, like OP NFB promise project. And another is large scale experimental test bed like in Chameleon, Chameleon project. And now we have 10, uh, 10 active contributors in the Rocky Cycles. And so we have a bit, uh, we are active project in OpenStack, in OpenStack communities. And then this is how does Blazor works in your terminals. So first one is host reservation, as I introduced. The first one, uh, sorry, the host reservation reserve a number of hosts for the time period of release. Like uh, with, with Blazor command, if you, if you type with the Blazor command, physical reservation, like mean number of, your, uh, number of hosts you want to reserve, like a mean two, max four, and then Blazor returns reservation IDs then Blazor ensures that the project gets exclusive access to these hosts related to the reservation ID. And then when you launch your instances in the time period, the only, your, only your instances attached to the reservation ID is scheduled on the reserved host, like this command. And next one, another one is uh, instance reservation. In instance reservation, you can reserve a number of instances with a specific flavor size, like this. With Blazor command, reservation and vCPU numbers and number of memory megabyte, this gigabyte, and how many you want to reserve in this size of flavor instances. And then the Blazor returns flavor ID to users. And in, during the reservation time period, you can use this flavor to launch instances. And then the Blazor ensures your flavor is uh, not your flavor, uh, but your instances with this flavor is launched, launched and anywhere in uh, open, your OpenStack crowd without no valid host error. And now this is uh, the instance reservation only affinity, affinity, anti-affinity is supported for now because of some constraint in the current implementations. But we have now to get rid of this, uh, this rest constraint to in the shine or T cycle. And this is a project update session, so I want to introduce you that the main features in 
OpenStack Rocky Cycles. There are five main features. First one is, uh, is for user features. This is for the AZ support for computer resource reservation. Before the Rocky release, we, you can't specify the AZ name that you want, uh, where you want to reserve compute host or the instances will be reserved. But from Rocky Cycle, you can reserve, uh, you can specify AZ name or AZ, uh, yeah, AZ name. And for, we have two operator new features in a Rocky Cycle. First one is a time margin for cleaning up resources between reservations. It's usually expect, uh, used for ironic support or some big, big instances. Like Blazor ensures uh, each user to create their own instances, stick to the reservation. Blazor re remove or delete instances which are when finish users' reservations. But in th some of cases, the instances, uh, no, sorry, the Nova has a time to delete instances. So operator can specify 10 minutes, or a few, the number of minutes to have a margin between the, each reservations. And second one is a periodic healing for resource monitoring. The Blazor project has the ability to react to the failure of compute host to reschedule the reservation on the reschedule of the reservation related to this failed host. But before Rocky Cycle, Blazor, uh, Blazor calculate whole reservation related to the host. Like uh, if the host goes down, Blazor recalculate from the reservation from now to the 9,999 9, years. But now Blazor can, Blazor can handle these this problems. Like Blazor only calculates one, one day ahead, what, one week ahead, something like that. And another, uh, the other new worthy development is to uh, Blazor fixed the, some API response code in Rocky Cycle because some of API response code was not um, reasonable for every reason of the failure, but we, we fixed these problems. And of course we, uh, yeah. And second one is dev support in the Blazor dashboard. So when you test the Blazor project in your local, you can easily test this feature from CLI as well as the uh, dashboard with uh, meaning horizon. So next is uh, the, our plan for the shine cycle. So let's switch to the PL. Thank you, Masaito. So for the Stein release, uh, we are working on both user and operator features. So for users, um, we are prototyping network reservation. So we are planning to offer um, users the capability to reserve uh, things, resources that are in limited supply, such as floating IPs or uh, VLAN segmentation IDs or VXLAN for that matter. Um, we are also working on OpenStack client support at the moment, you have to use the uh, Python Blazor client. Um, you, you cannot use the OpenStack Unified client. And um, we will also have a new API that we call Reservation Candidate API, and that will allow users to discover when resources are available for their reservations. At the moment, they have to try various uh, parameters to find when uh, reservations are available. Uh, and for the operators, we have um, a new API, which we call the Resource Allocation API, and this will allow them to monitor what is the status of the reservations on their cloud, um, which nodes are being reserved and which are free. And we're also working with integration uh, with the Placement API, and uh, this will allow us to remove some of the limitations 
that we have currently in Blazor and uh, make the scheduling more efficient. Beyond Stein, we have lots of uh, features planned as well. So as we move towards more production deployments, uh, we want to have support for high availability. Um, integration with Nova Quotas is quite important as well. At the moment, uh, Blazor doesn't integrate with them, and so a user might be able to reserve more resources than they actually can use from the Nova Quota point of view. Compatibility, compatibility with Ironic is uh, quite critical for some of the deployments that we have, so we are planning to uh, solve this as well. Uh, Preemptible instances is something that's uh, been actively developed in OpenStack for a while, and uh, it's a very good use case for um, Blazar because um, the unreserved resources are kept idle, and we would like to run preemptible instances on them. And finally, the uh, network resource reservation that we're prototyping in the Stein cycle, we would like to make this production ready beyond Stein in the T release, and also work with uh, the Cinder project to allow reservations of volumes, and with you know, other OpenStack projects as well. Um, so now, uh, Tetsuro will talk about our work with uh, the Placement API. Hi, I'm Tetsuro. I am working on both Blazor and Placement project. And uh, Blazor is Einstein's release. Blazor is going to talk to Placement project directory. And uh, Blazor registers reservation resources to Placement, and Nova will uh, refer the reservation reservation uh, resource class when Nova wants to uh, deploy virtual machines. And by uh, using placement, we want to enable several things. That is, uh, Blazor will no longer depend on specific Nova filters, such as uh, these three filters. And uh, the important thing here is we, are, uh, we will support uh, reserving multiple instances on the same, set, same host. Uh, Intentionally, that means we will support anti uh, affinity policy is true. And we are uh, targeting this fe these features in Stein's release. And uh, we want to use uh, placement for host reservation too, uh, beyond the T release cycle. And, we and then we will no longer depend on Blazor filter. OK, that's, that's all from uh, cross project work topic. Let me switch to Bertrand. Thanks, Tatsuro. Um, so if your user interested in trying or even intending to use Blazor, um, there are plenty ways to do it. And starting from this week, um, so we welcome you to attend the forum sessions. So tomorrow we will discuss about extending Blazor reservations so to new resource types like networking and storage. Um, so this will happen uh, tomorrow, and Pierre, the current uh, Blazor PTL, will be the moderator. On Thursday, as you may know, there are several projects right now that are planning to consume the placement API like Cyborg, like Neutron, besides Blazor and Nova. And uh, Tetsuro will moderate this session and we will discuss whether it makes sense to have a common Python library to consume placement API. Of course, we also welcome you to attend our weekly meetings that is held on Tuesday at 9 a.m. UTC on OpenStack Meeting Art RLC channel. Or, of course, you can also always talk to us directly on, on Freenode. And what is also quite important, especially if you are a user, uh, please do not hesitate if you find any issues to report bugs directly on the Blazor. Also quite important, of course, we are welcoming also new upstream developers. So first thing that you would need to do is, of course, to read our contributors guide. You have the link here. But also, um, if you have some Python coding skills, it's always good to have more eyes 
on the actual patches. So if you can help with code review or even help to fix actually some bugs, so helping with bug triage or even improving the docs and improving the test coverage, of course, you're much welcome. And as I said, uh, please talk to us either this week or later online uh, on RSC or during our uh, online meetings on Tuesday. So once again, thanks all for coming and we have a few minutes, I guess, for Q&A. Uh, on the Beyond's time work, you mentioned the like, integration with Noah Quotas. So as you know, might know, like, uh, uh, we are discussing about the unified limit mm -hmm. and applying those across all the projects. So are you considering that also? Because Noah Quota is something which is, should be moving to the unified limit in the future. Yeah, so when I was saying Nova Quotas, I meant quotas applying to instances, you know, however they implement it. So uh, it will make sense, of course, to use the more modern approach, which is the, the unified quotas. Mm -hmm. Is it planned in your project? So reservation is quite unique, actually. Um, in lots of uh, public clouds, you, you, you don't uh, reserve resources in advance because they make sure that they have enough to, uh, to run right. their own demand. Are you talking about what they call reserve instances? Yeah, they, uh, they reserve mostly uh, resources. So physical resources, dedicated resources. Because so I, I, I'm aware that in AWS, for example, you can uh, buy an instance for a year or several years. Um, but this, the service provided by uh, Blazar is uh, a bit different. Uh, because you reserve only for a specific period of time that you actually um, specify. Yeah, that's exactly the, the, the point what I address now. In, uh, I've, we addressed it with over Cortana, which, which is in the manifold. But uh, I think it's extremely important for, also for your project that you make this mapping that uh, customers which are using Excel also other platforms, uh, especially in this open context, because every of them is focusing Excel on open source and open yeah, I mean, that's, that's a good point. Things where, where for context there is a wording place on market, 
uh, then it is really hard to, to explain a customer. Yeah. Uh, simple example, Volkswagen Group. We can switch day mostly away from AVS. When we have, it's one of my main customers for my, and I know that uh, very often they decide it's versus OpenStack because they don't understand, for example, SR is a reservation service that also a reservation service is existing on OpenStack. Because they are searching with the wording what they are knowing. As mm -hmm. It's only a question when you say no, and I will place it directly with on demand for because this is a problem that we have actually have in every project. Are but you looking for something in OpenStack or this could also be done in some other project? So um, the yeah, PDF, yeah, the project. the OpenDMP promise project, which is very much related to this work. So such a bad thing we could, for example, also break there. I understand your concern is a lot about terminology, which is different in different communities. Because uh, I know in some projects, for example, Nova, uh, they make this, this mapping, and it helps extremely uh, when, uh, my, for example, my architecture and my evangelism team, which is located worldwide in more than 40 regions, when we talk with customers. Because everybody from the technical side has a preferred platform, depends on where it's coming from, and when, when we want to, to have, uh, for example, lesser or more successful, then we have to make this. It's, it's an initial work. That's nothing what you have to do uh, ten, uh, 10 hours per week to make it. It's only one time. So th thanks for the um, for the suggestion. I mean, we look into it. What I can say is, I think it, it's quite unique among the cloud ecosystem. So there might not be anything in the main public clouds that look like it. I think we have to stop here unless there is another question. Okay. Thanks, everyone.